Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. Welcome to not What's Up Wednesdays. We're not having them this month because life is getting in the way, adulting, all that BS instead of the fun stuff. So we're gonna skip What's Up Wednesdays for the month of September. But that's okay, because we get to play. Yay! If you're on replay, hashtag replay. If you're new, let us know that so we can give you a proper welcome. Feel free to share our video. I think I need to clean my glasses because I see something. Uh, also, our new texting service is Telegram. The link is in the description. You must download the app. It's free. It's easy. It walks you right through it. Um, if you want to be notified when I go live, uh, it's that simple. I just send you a message. I am working on trying to get a group so we can kind of chit chat like we used to, but it's on the list. It's on the list. I promise. Y'all haven't been live since Saturday. Adulting is utter BS. Taking away the fun. I made it today though. I made it happen. Uh, hey, George Ann. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing great. I even got up early. I was like, I am going live. I don't care what it takes. It's happening. And here we are. Linda, and I'm even early. <laughs> yes. So I got an exciting project. Exciting, exciting. I did some prep because I just kind of painted this board. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And it kind of evolved in something. I still don't know really what the end picture looks like, but we're going to, we're going to start here. Hey, Sandra, Diane. Welcome ladies. Marilyn. Hello. I missed y'all. Y'all, three days feels like three weeks on t when you're not on social media. It's crazy. I haven't created, well, a little bit here and there, but nothing, nothing exciting. <laughs> hey, Deborah. Yeah, so Sunday I was on call. Indeed, I did get called three times. Um, hey, Cheryl, thanks for sprinkling. And then yesterday and the day before, at Monday I was actually ready to go live, but I had a phone call meeting that ended up lasting longer than... It just lasted longer. Same thing yesterday. So here we are. Here we are. Yay. But no, what's up Wednesdays? Y'all, I don't even know. I, I don't, I'm not even sure. I only got like a couple names to go in the jar. I think I'm going to do something different this month with that. Obviously I need to take care of the people who did get in the jar. I got to figure out something. I, I, I am a mess this month. No, what's up Wednesdays? No jar. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. So I'll figure something out. I got a week. I'll figure something out. Figure something out. Got plenty of stuff to give away, so no worries. But I look very worried in my Facebook photo. I'm like, <laughs> hey, Denise. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to use, I want to make this like, a, okay. I want to make this like a shabby chic kind of piece, but I want it to be, so it's this 12, no, yeah, 12 by 24 slatted board. I've had it forever. Um, I, I've been missing you too, Kathy. It's terrible. Um, I bought this a long time ago. I think even before my page, I started my page. I have another one that I did that was all farmhouse. I'm really proud of that one. It came out really good. It's just like regular old school stencils, but it's, I think it's black and um, just really worn down. It just came out really nice. Hey Kelly, I'm glad you could see me. Um, so I went ahead and I painted it. This is kind of big. It's 12 by 12 by 24. Um, I painted it with white snow owl by wise owl. I also put a layer of matte um, one hour enamel clear on there and then I hit the sides with the three colors we're going to use but what I want to do is put the inlays on there but then I want to hang I want to make this like um, stuff to hang on or to hang stuff on I don't know what I'm trying to say hey Nanny how are you hey Brenda I missed a bunch of you thank you for hopping on so I want to put like um, like hooks a, a kind of like a board to hang stuff on. I don't know what the heck you would call that. But I got like all these rusty, crusty, not that we'll put all of them on, but um, just like old doorknobs. I don't know, just, I don't know. I like this one, it's like oval, but it's super rusty. I don't even want to take it out, that one right there. Um, I don't know. Get the pen, uh, inlays on and see how it looks and then we'll kind of take it from there. Um, but it's going to be more like a, like a catch-all. So I kind of went with these three colors. Now, I am kind of taking a gamble here because I don't know if I have enough paint. I do have more petal in-house and the seesaw I love, but I already use this, but I do have a one hour enamel. See the one hour enamel, you gotta shake it because it's got a top coat. Um, so we should be all right. It's gonna be close, but the blush, I don't have any more of the blush, but I've never used this, so we should be okay. So I was thinking those three colors, uh, you know, every other slat, and then this uh, chintz. Hi, oh, hey, Renee, I'm glad you caught me too. Hey, Janice. Um, the rose chintz inlay. Why not? Oh, why not? Thanks for slinging the rest, Sandra. 
So if you guys are not familiar, this um, these are the paint inlays. We literally take the, the paint. They paint the design on this carrier sheet, which is similar to like, I'd, I'd say it's similar to parchment paper. So that's actual paint. So if I were to get that wet, it would totally smear. Um, and this one's called the Rose Chintz. You get eight pages of the same. We've used this one before. Um, and we're gonna use it again. We're gonna use it again. Hey, Colleen, Heather. So um, what you can do with these two is, obviously each, each use depends on how the next use is gonna be. You can use these definitely two times, maybe three, kind of like a bulletin board. Yeah, kind of in a sense, yeah. Hang all my little pretties on. I don't know, I don't know. Um, you may even get a fourth use out of it. It just depends how it goes up until that point, how much paint comes off. Hey, Mary, uh, Carla, thanks for resting the scraps. It is beautiful, Kim. Um, what colors you use, those might carry into, um, hey, Janet, uh, th those might carry into your next project as well, so be mindful of that. Um, but you get a lot of them, you get a lot of them. They're not cheap, but for the amount of uses and the amount that you get, I guess it's worth it. I guess it's worth it. Y'all, if any of you are new, hello, welcome. I don't like glitter. <laughs> I don't like glitter at all. As a matter of fact, um, hey, Nada, the chrome, Pentart chrome, y'all, that's almost like glitter. It really is almost like glitter. If it wasn't so stinking cool and so pretty, that would be out the door. It would be out the door. But I have to give that one a pass because it's kind of cool. Uh, I'm trying to see what, what I got I got in here like there's used stuff. I don't even know why this this is one of them too. Y'all we haven't used have I, Did I use this one? I don't think I've used this one. This is one too and I can't believe it because I'm such a blue and white fan This is just one sheet, but it comes in a book just like the rose the same the same print uh, You know what I think this is the one Mara gave me like a long time ago Yeah, look at the color of this blue but we have this book as well. I can't believe we haven't used it. Look how vibrant that blue is. Holy smokes. Um, yeah, I got this. I got this. <laughs> hey, Nancy, I'm great. Now that I got all the adulting BS out of the way, my last three days have been, I had to be a responsible adult. It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. This one looks like, this one's been used. This one's been used, which is okay, but I want to start fresh. Yeah. So let me just show you, this one has been used and I, I did a test piece out of this on a second layer. So this one's already been used one time and it still has, I mean, you really got to look at it to see that it's, and the reason I know is because a little bit on the bottom is taken off and I see white paint on it. So if you hold them side by side, you can kind of, this one's a little more vibrant than this one. This one looks a little more dull. This one's a little more vibrant. So. You could definitely get an excellent second use out of that one. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. All right, so I don't know how many, oh, will this make it across? Oh, that would have been nice. It's a little short. Well, that's a bummer. Well, that's okay. We're gonna have to make it work. I don't want to go the other way. Hey, Maureen. It is it's so good, right, Janet? All right, we need two pieces here. I'm trying to see if there's another half piece or something in here. You get a lot of it, and we've already used this. All right. Well, I guess we'll just use these two. We use that one. I just want to get this other stuff out of the way because I don't want it to get wet and, you know. That kind of stuff. All right, we'll pull two. They're all this. I think they're all the same. Maybe not. No, they're not the same. Same print, just not in the same spots. But we could be picky and pick what we want. Uh, Michelle, I just explained. It depends. You. It's been used up to four times. Two definitely. Three maybe. Four maybe. It just depends on each time you use it. How much. Like this one here, this is already used once. So there's no doubt we'll get a second use out of that one. It just depends how much carries onto your project each time. The colors you use, all that all that factors in. Y'all, I need more room. I need 
more room. Put that, that there and hope I don't step on it and wipe out. Um, now this did bleed through. Now this is just, um, I got this from Hup. Uh, actually, I don't know where I got this. Fab Lab. Fab Lab craft? I don't know. I've had it a long time. Um, but it's just this type of wood and it actually bled through, which I'm okay with. I wouldn't be okay with if we weren't going over with the inlay, but I don't know if you can see the yellowing. Probably not, maybe a little bit, but it did bleed through. Um, you can keep painting this and painting this and painting this and that those oils are still going to come through and you'd be maddening. So if you don't have a primer, what you could do is um, get like a, uh, a, a shellac of some sort and you can shellac this and that'll lock in the oils and then you can go over your paint and you won't have any problems. But this will just keep coming through, coming through. But I think, I think with this paint inlay, it'll be fine. Um, as far as uh, with our image, it'll all blend in. It'll all blend in. <laughs> oh, happy Wednesday, y'all. We're not doing What's Up Wednesdays this month. Um, I, I might have done one. I don't know. We did a pretend one. I want to make sure I do the top. Um, this month is just all screwed up. Next Wednesday, I got a doctor's appointment. Um, so we're just going to skip it. But I do need to figure out something. I don't really have any names in the jars, in the jar. So I'm going to have to figure out something. I will. Oh, and I want to tell you, I, I screwed up. Um, <clears throat> if you ordered, it'd have to be in the last, I think in the last week. I think I showed you guys this last week. So if you ordered the matte varnish, um, the Pentart matte varnish, the water base, just the medium, and you got this instead, uh, message me or send me an email. Um, I ordered the wrong thing. <clears throat> I was I was doing a count and I was like, what the heck is this stuff? I mean, they look, they kind of look similar. I mean, they're all on the shelf. So what happened is I ordered these. I looked at my order. I ordered them. I thought they sent me the wrong stuff. So I believe three people got this when they ordered this. So, and I don't know who those people are because I don't know how many of these I had and how many... I don't know. I don't. I can look it up, but I don't know what I actually gave them. Does that make sense? So if you ordered this and you got this, this is still good, but I did a test with it. Um, it's basically the same thing. This is just says it's varnish and glue. This is a little more glueier, but it's not as matte as this. So just message me and I'll send you one out. Well, I got a, I ordered them. They should be here in a couple of days. Uh, won't get mad if I put your name in the Yeah, I dropped the ball big time on that. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so what we have to do is I already painted the sides just on the colors I want, so I got to remember that's what I want to do. Um, I'd like to put this on. Well, I guess I don't need to. All right, let's size this up first off. It's not quite big enough to go end to end, but that's going to have to be okay. Yeah, that's going to have to be okay. I'm going to do one at a time because it needs to be wet while we're doing this. So let me think about this. Oh, don't worry. I'll figure it out. Ugh. This month's been crazy, y'all. I think the month before almost killed me dead. So this month I was like, oh, like, woo, time out. <laughs> time out. Time out. Let's just take a time out. All right. So we're going to put that there. I can't do it all in one shot because that would be asking for trouble. So, trouble, trouble, trouble. I'm just going to cut it. Yeah, I'm going to cut it. I got my razor out, but I think I'm just going to cut it with scissors. Leave a trim around. Yeah, I can always fill it in. I can always fill it in. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it. And then this way I can also, I'm cutting right through this big beautiful flower. <laughs> this way I can also um, put stuff where I want it. That makes sense. This is not a straight line. Oh, the paint's crumbling, y'all. I just saw the green paint crumble. Cool. <laughs> I guess. There's probably a better way to... 
Yeah, it crumbled. All right, so the next one, I don't think I want it to, well, I guess we could make it look like that, where it's just a space in between. That's kind of cool. My line is not straight, though. That's the problem. I need a straighter line. So maybe I should put it, uh, what to do? Maybe I should cut it with this. I can always cut the excess off. Oh no, that's just going to be paper. That's not going to carry over. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to talk myself through this. Uh, I used to have sheet in that color. And oh, very cool, Deborah. Very cool. I would love to have sheets like this. Um, okay, so the paint's not going to carry over in where there's no wood. So, all right. I just have to cut a couple of these because... Um, because... I can't, I can't get them wet. We can't get them wet. Um, I wonder if I'm going to try this razor blade and see if this is any easier. Oh, there goes the nose running. <laughs> Let's see. It's a pretty sharp blade. Oh yeah, that's easier. Ooh, there's even a line there, but wait, where did it go? Cut through the paint. Ooh. Where'd my line go? Uh oh. Can't see the see the line. The line disappeared. Well, should be fine. It's fine. Do you have to, uh, do you have the paint side facing down? I do not. Not yet. I should, because I'm messing with the paint. Well, I should, but I don't. But we're going to. We are going to do that. Yeah, I think this will be pretty if we do it that way. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, where's the middle here? Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh. That didn't work. How to <laughs> Yo, this is a mess. This is a mess. It'll be fine. It's weird, my line disappears. And then reappears. All right, two more, <laughs> two more. That one I botched. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. I got this. I got this. I got this. Uh, Y'all be on tomorrow at 4:45 p.m. Eastern for Craft Around the Clock. Woohoo! Um. I feel like I haven't been on there forever either. Uh, also, Telegram is our new notification thingamabob. So if you type in hashtag text in the comments, it will send you a message to your messenger with the link to sign up for Telegram. If you're interested, you have to download the app. It's free, pr fairly simple to do. Um, Oh, this one's got to go down more. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just going to cut this last one and then pull this one off to the side. Um, yeah, hashtag text. It'll message you the link to Telegram. If you don't have Telegram, it'll ask you to download it, which it's, it's very easy. It's, it walks you through it. It's working well. Good. I'm, I'm trying. It's on the list. I shouldn't say I'm trying, but it's on the list to make a a group where we can conversate. Although we might all see each other's comments, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. All right, so I'm gonna not put this one on because of that big space on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna set that aside. This is enough to work with right now. Oh no, wait, I need, oh, I need them all because I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do all the greens, all the pinks, all the, yeah, okay. I, crap, I need them all. <laughs> I need them all. So now our image is gonna get mixed up. Ooh! Um, yeah, is this part of this? Not that I want to go matching this up, but yeah, it, oh no, it can't be that. I don't know. Um, so that'll be there. We don't want another big old flower there, but hmm, we might have to. We might have to put another flower there or two, three, four. We got four left. So after that square goes that one. 
that one. Um, let's see if I can fit four. Cutting that flower out. Oh yeah, right there. Okay. I got this. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, turn it. Hello, Lisa with Brown Eyed Girls Crafting. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? I got this. I'm going to pull this up, though. Uh, what else do we got? Hashtag YouTube. That will... Uh, if you're a YouTuber, I'd love for you to support me over there. Things are going really well. I love YouTube, y'all. You're back. Welcome back, Sandra. I really like YouTube. I only wish that um, we could go live over... I mean, I know you can go live over there, but it's just not really their thing. But that would be great, because that is a really great platform. Um, so hashtag YouTube. Whoa. Hashtag YouTube. We'll send you a link to my YouTube. Um, there's, I got like quite a few videos loaded up over there. If you're new to me, you probably haven't seen a bunch of them because they're older ones I uploaded. And I need a thousand subscribers and 4,000, 4,000 watch hours. Y'all, that is a lot of watch time. 4,000, whoa. 4,000. But I get it because, um, <laughs> thank you, Sandra. I guess it kind of weeds out the, you know, the weenies, like the people that are just, you know, oh, I'm going to make a video. You know, I, I, they make them work for it. They make them work for it. And there's a lot more rules as in restrictions, but for the good, for the creative over there. So I can see nothing but good. And I just created. Um, I've never been a big Pinterest person, um, but I just created a, um, uh, you have several friends. Yeah. It's, you know what I mean? It's almost like Facebook is for live and, and building a community where YouTube is like informational. You want it quick, 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 uh, Instagram's for the pretty ones and, you know, TikTok's for the nutty ones. Like, it's just, you know what I mean? I feel like every, um, every platform has its thing. Um. Hey, Beth with the Crafty Edge. How are you, my friend? Y'all, if you're not following Beth, you need to check her out. Along with Brown Eyed Girls Crafting, Lisa. Um, yeah, so YouTube. And I just like it. It's definitely different in a learning curve. But, oh yeah, so I built a Pinterest thing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I made a pin. Idea? A pin? I, I don't even know what I did. Um, <laughs> thank you, Colleen. And, um, all right, I'll leave that extra on there. Uh... I'm doing a boot camp this weekend. I'll have to watch it on a replay because it's too early for my hours. But so I'm excited. So I, I'm like brand new, fresh meat. No idea what I'm doing, but I'll be able to get a good start by taking this class. So I'm pretty. I mean, the timing was like it just happened. So I was like, yeah, all right, okay. So now I got to keep these in order. Oh boy. Okay. So that is the top. What did we do? We went blue, not blue. Sea salt blush. No sea salt petal blush all right so i'm gonna start with i already painted the sides because i want to go sea salt these are all wise owl um petal and blush chalk paints so we're gonna go sea salt yeah. now this isn't the ideal brush to use but the space isn't that big if you're gonna go on a big area because you want your paint to be really wet when you do this so i would suggest like a nice a good brush a brush that carries a lot of paint um, because the whole key to this is wet paint. That is the, the entire key to this. Now, how can I do this where I'm going to keep these in somewhat of an order? So let me get this one out of here since my water is condensating. <laughs> my water is condensating. Um, let me just flip them over. Oh. Flip them over this way. Flip. Flip, flip, flippity dippity. What did I do there? Oh, I need to cut that off. <laughs> what happened there? What happened? Um. Wait, what? Oh, this is extra. This is, this is extra. Whew. What happened? Flippy. 
Flippy. Oh, I need to pull the ones for the green parts, though. All right, one thing at a time, Trace. Okay. Okay, so this first one is going to be, can you see? Yes. For sea salt. Okay, so the first one's going to be sea salt. You want your paint thick, but you want it as even as you can get it. I find uh, sometimes I get real thick somewhere, somewhere in an area. I should have brought the gingerbread out here. Um, and what will happen is your paint, your the carrier sheet will kind of crumble up your thick paint. Um, it's not a bad look, but if you don't like wrinkly stuff like that, then you probably won't, it won't be very appealing to you. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, the reason I put a one hour enamel down over this white is number one, it's bleeding. Number two, um, I didn't have a lot of paint and this wood is super porous. So I thought the one hour enamel, uh, wise owl would also help, you know, for the paint not soaking up. Does it make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. All right, so let's do this. So this is the color sea salt. I love this color. I will be buying this in the pint size, no doubt. Or quart size, I should say. There's no pint size. There should be, but there's not. I love it. And I find with this wise owl paint, it's very tricky. I feel like when you put the first coat on, you're like, man, that is not very good coverage. But then all of a sudden, when you put the second coat on, it's like, it, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain. I've never worked with a paint like this before. Um, but yeah, it's, I like it. I like it, I like it way much. So this is the paint that I'm short on, but I do have a one hour enamel, which has um, a top coat in it, which is fine. It just might be a little bit of a different color. All right, so I got all my paint on. So now I'm just gonna kind of thicken it up a little. If you're painting something for the first time, I would suggest putting a layer of paint down let it dry, and then that way when you go to do your inlay, you know you know you know you got good coverage. You're not going to have anything peeking through or anything like that. Okay, so that is down. So I'm going to put this down. Okay. Right. Can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, and you can't really move it once it's in there because when it's wet, that it's gonna activate. It's gonna activate, <laughs> activate. Okay, so I'm gonna go over it with my brayer. If you don't have a brayer, just kind of dab over it. Um, all right, awesome, Glennis. Um, just dab over it with a paper towel, but I have a brayer, so I'm gonna use that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just pushing that paint into the paint. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, um, my sprayer, my mister, but if you don't have a mister, you can just dampen a, um, a paper towel and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna miss this. See the color? I love when it does that. I don't think we need it here. I think this is the hole. Yeah. Okay. Now there's nothing there, so that shouldn't activate. And I'm gonna go over it again because we're just helping it from this side now. So we've already helped it from the underside by laying it in the wet paint. Now we're just helping it from this side um, to activate, okay? So that's it. That's all we do for right now. It's very simple. It's just a process, but it's very simple. All right, so our next blue one is, I say blue, it's not blue, sea salt, it's this one. So now I need one, two, three. I need the third one, so I need one. Two. I'm gonna get these messed up. <laughs> you know that, right? All right, so this is this one. All right. I know I'm gonna get these mixed up. Maybe, oh, I know what I'll do. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write on them what they are. So the next one is blush. I'm gonna, I should have done that to begin with. All right, so I'm just gonna put a B for blush and what's the other one? Petal. Oh no, that's petal, crap. Petal, petal blush, I got it backwards. All right, so petal blush, petal blush, petal blush, sea salt, petal, why am I missing one? Oh, 
wait a minute, I'm missing one. Uh, petal, blush, this one. Petal, blush, this one. Oh, petal, okay, it ends there. Petal. It ends there, okay. We got this. <laughs> we got this. I could have numbered them. That would have been a lot easier. I don't think of any of this stuff when I'm live, y'all. Half my brain goes whoo, out the window. My nose runs. I'm going to end up putting this on back. It's, you know what? It doesn't matter because I wasn't really going for a pattern. It just kind of turned out that way. Okay, so we're going to go on with this guy now. Oh. Oh, being a creator is so much fun. I've been having all these, well, usually before I go to sleep, my mind just races and races and races of all these ideas and all these projects, all this stuff I'm excited to do. And, you know, and I remember most of them, but then I come out here and I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> I, stand, I stand here like a ding dong, like not knowing what to do because I have so many ideas. Who do you, Summer? Um, yeah, that paint on there was like really thick. Yeah, make myself bananas. Uh, yeah, this is really, oh man, really thick, like, like putty, like putty, like glue. All right. Okay, so we got a good coat on there. Let's get one more. Uh, one more coat. I really now. Um, we did this on the black, which so far, I've done it on black and I've done this on white. Hands down, the black is my favorite uh, so far, just because I think it's so vibrant. Uh, the colors, it just comes out so vibrant. Um, but I think shabby chic, we're going to have plenty of paint. Shabby chic wise, I think these colors are going to play nice. All right, does it go this way? I think it goes this way. I think it goes this way. This way, that way. Now, I could have been brave and done it all in one shot, but I don't think that would be the best idea. Okay, so that is down in our wet paint. And you don't want to shift it because, like I said, once once this paint, it's actual paint, like it's paint. It's a painted image. Once it's down, um, it activates so it'll, you know, you'll smear it. You'll smear it. Okay, so go over it. If you don't have a brayer, just take a paper towel. It doesn't have to be a blue paper towel, but I uh, keep a notepad. Well, that's, I have a phone and sometimes if I, it's a really good one, I'll text it to myself. Um, but half the time I don't have my glasses and I can't see what I'm texting and I'm just hoping that I can figure it out, you know, the next day. So just take a paper towel and do that if you don't have a brayer. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna mist it. I love how the colors come out when you do that. So by misting the top, you're just helping the top get working since we already got the bottom half working, being already wet in the wet paint. Okay. Um, your brayer might get a little like painty. Just be mindful of that. Be mindful of your brayer getting painty mouse out of here. I love shabby chic too. I do too. So this one. Yep. This one. It's hard to see. This a one. Do the same. <laughs> Triple checking. Triple checking. Um decoupage queen papers. Um they're out of stock of a lot. So I did order, I got a few things coming, um, but they're out of a lot of papers and like the fall papers and stuff. Um, <clears throat> they're going on vacation. So I guess when they get back, there's gonna be a restock of all kinds of stuff. So we'll see what happens. So if you do see a bunch of stuff out of stock for decoupage queen is for rice papers. You can just put your notification on because I do plan on restocking them. I mean, if she restocks the fall, I mean, I feel like Christmas is going to be the next corner we turn, so I don't know. But I did look 
Halloween, all of that was out of stock. So, but I do have some rusty things. Hey Beth, rusty stuff coming, which I'm pretty excited about. We got some rusty bells, um, some rusty wire. Um, so you can, you know, like hang, you know, hang a picture or whatever, hang your piece from it. Um, do whatever. Can't remember what else. Um, all right, we need S. S. See how I did? We'll see how I did when we peel all this up. Right, frick is. I'll get out. Hmm. All right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. It's down. Hey, Patty. Spray it with some water. And you're just helping it lay down evenly into your wet paint. Oh. Okay. Now, there has been times where, um, like, when this starts to dry, I'll peek. And if I'm not liking what I'm seeing, I'll wet it again and uh, roll over it again and then just let it let it marinate a little longer. Ooh, got a sliver. Just let it sit a little longer like it's not done. I got a sliver. I got a sliver. Oh, these are nice and clean. <laughs> Tweezers. These are, ow, these are safe. We got like a thing of glue junk on them or something. I think I got it. Hey, Michelle, thank you. See, I like, I love the sea salt color on, behind it. We had plenty of paint too. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I'm thinking I need like gobs and gobs of paint to do this, but that did not take a lot of paint at all. Uh, and I already used this, which is crazy. Cray cray. Uh, let's see, website, hashtag website. That will send scrappiesrustics.com to your messenger. And then email, if you want to be part of the subscribe to the email, uh, hashtag email. That'll send you to the website, but a different page. And you just go to the bottom is the little button to subscribe or a little thing to put your email address in and subscribe. It's pretty simple. Okay. Next up is ooh, petal. Y'all, I love this pink. This reminds me of that, um, the home decor, uh, whispering willow, the pink, I think that's the name of it. The pink, I love it. I love it. I do have this in house. Look how pretty that is. I'm not a big pink person either, but I think it's kind of like a Victorianish, shabby chicish pink. Shabby chicish pink. <laughs> okay, now um, I need to push this stuff out of the way. Let's get out of the way. I got a little too much overhang here. I think I'm just gonna tuck it in because we're gonna peel it off, right? Right. Can I tuck it in? Yeah. Look at that. Tuck it in like a present. This one isn't as long. That one should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, North Florida and Southwest Florida. Got my eye on the next system. Oh, Lulu, I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. I'm actually in Central Florida. Central. Yeah, we don't. I don't need no storms. Those make me a nervous wreck. All right, so next up is petal. Petal. And does petal go? I think I did that one upside down. It's okay. It's too late now. It's not like I can peel it up. I mean, I could peel it up and paint over it, but um, is that one around ammo? So, uh, Jeanette, I'm using just the chalk synthesis. The, I do have a one hour enamel here. Usually the one hour enamels, you'll see the difference in color. You have to shake it because it's got the top coat, but I like them both for different reasons. Um, I think the one hour enamel paint are great for when you do a transfer because it's already got the, um, the top coat in it for you. Look how pretty this pink is. Um, I don't know, but like I said, I, I feel like this this paint does not cover like Waverly does, you know, you, like on the first, the first coat, you know, Waverly, Waverly is real thick. And a lot of times you get a really good first coverage. And I, 
most times with this, I don't feel like you do. Um, but then that second coat, I don't know, it just really pulls it all together. It's hard to explain. I've never worked with a paint like this. The wall paint was the same exact way. At first I was like, oh man, I don't know. I don't know about this. But it came out, it was, it is really, really good paint. I was really surprised. Now the one hour enamel, that clear that I have on here is definitely helping um, me not have to do two coats of this because it's, you know, there's nothing sucking it up. <laughs> Plus the white behind it is giving it its true color. And I'm glad I did because like I said, it is, this, this wood is bleeding and there's no, you can keep painting and painting and painting and it will continue to just come through unless you seal it with something. It's funny how it does that. You would think after, you know, 10 layers of paint, it would stop, but it doesn't. It just makes it its way to the top somehow. Somehow, some way. The tannins. Tannins, I think that's what they're called. All right. So you can see, I mean, this isn't hard. It's just a process. It's just a process. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> that's a lot of paint. Okay. P. P's up next. See what I don't well, I don't know which way I flipped it over. <laughs> I don't remember. Hey Teresa, my C is over there. Oh, it has to be this way. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I got this. <laughs> I got this. A little shaky. Uh a little shaky. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. That's good. Thanks for sprinkling. Sherry Wilson in the house. Hello. 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 All right. Rolled it. If you don't have a roller, you're going to see. Get, watch out for paint. Watch out for paint. If you don't have a roller, paper towel, just gingerly smash it down in there. If you don't have a sprayer, um, then just wet your paper towel and smash it down. Not smash it down, but you know, dab it down. You know. Slow and steady. I love these colors so far together. I do. I do. I can see where my paint was thick right there and it's a little ripply, but I'm okay with that. Pink. Petal. Petal. Got a petal here, y'all. Uh, thank you guys for being here today. I missed y'all. Like I said. Stinking adulthood. I really have such a small window of time, you know, from the time I wake up to the time, you know, I got to log into work. It's not, I kind of need to know what I'm doing and plan for it. Ooh, I just drooled all down the side. Um, you know, the, I mean, but the sad part is, is, you know, when I'm ready to rip around to go at one in the morning, nobody, nobody's at the bank wants to talk to me then, you know, <laughs> nobody wants to talk to me then. I know. So, yeah. But I was all ready to go Monday. Then I was sad because there just wasn't enough time. So, there's that. There's that. And Sunday, they had the nerve to call me on call. Be like the ripples. I do too. I do do. I do do. do, do. <laughs> I do too, Susan. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I like the ripples. And bumps too. I think just think it gives it a, a more natural, more better look. All right, so we got our first coat on. Now I'm just going to thicken it up. It, and it's not so much thickening it. I mean, it is thickening it up, but it's also wet. It's freshly wet. Like if you got a fan blowing on this and you're or you're doing a big piece, section it down because if your paint is not wet, you are not going to have good luck or good results. You're, you're just not. Paint is the wet paint is the key. All right, pedal, pedal. Okay, pedal. That ain't right. I got these all goofed up. Why is this one over on this side? This doesn't make any sense. Why is the P on this side? I don't know. That ain't lined up either. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think I got them goofed up. Uh, I do. 
That kind of matches, but that certainly doesn't. What's the next one? P. Oh, I missed a P. Oh, I took the wrong P. <laughs> I took the wrong P, y'all. This is the right P. Here we go. Took the wrong P. Mystery solved. Paint's drying as I'm trying to figure out this mystery. Okay. I think that's good. It's got to go up a little. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Woo! That was a close one. I feel like my paint dried a little on that one. Let's get that baby down. Get that baby down. Down, down, Leroy Brown. You know what would look pretty? Um, I bet you if we mix like these colors and put it inlay into like different, you know what I mean? Like not just a solid color. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I got paint on my roller. We're making milk. You never doubt me. Oh, thank you, Susan. <laughs> thank you, Cindy. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I didn't even see what you're up to this weekend. I hope your week's starting out good. Finishes off good. Oh man, I'm squirting. Oh, big paint everywhere. Um, so yeah. I just hope life is good for y'all because it's short. It's short. And we need to make it the best we can. Where are we at? All right, we're making progress, y'all. Making progress. Hey, Mary. Yeah, like marbling the colors, Heidi. Yeah, that was kind of what I was trying to say. But it was not coming out at all. Yes, marbling them. I bet you that would be really cool. We might have to test that out. We might have to test that out. If and when we do ever have the private classes um, paint inlay won by a landslide in the voting, um, but what I probably do is, um, of course, I can't make any plans. I can't commit to anything like that just yet. But if I if we did something like the paint inlays, whoever signed up, I would most likely send them, you know, like a piece of. Um, a piece of the inlay of some sort uh, whatever I had um, that way they have something to uh, you know to work with so you don't have to commit to buy the entire book if it's something you don't like you know it can just cut you off a piece you can do a little piece with it and just see what you think because it, it's not hard at all obviously as you can see it's just a process just a process okay no, that did not take a lot of paint at all. Not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, hey, Ellen. Hello, Ellen. I had a boat in my yard for three months that wasn't... Oh, my goodness. That flew in? That flew in from somebody else's yard? Hmm. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. Okay, that's right. That's right. Um, yeah, those storms can be crazy. I know my, uh, the girl I work with, our last storm, she had, like, the neighbor, like, ten houses down, she had their trampoline in her backyard. Trampoline. Crazy. Scary. Uh, you love my shirt? Thank you, Michelle. Okay, so we just rolled it. Now we're gonna wet it. And we're gonna peek at our first one here in a moment. Now see, I didn't, you can see it's translucent if it's not wet. You can see when it's wet. If it's not wet, wet it. You just want to give it a good start from the jump. Now there may be other ways to do this. This is just what I've learned by watching and doing. Um, so yeah. All right. So here's our very first piece. You can see it's. Uh, Y'all, this is going to be really pretty. I, I love these colors so far. The white's kind of like bam, but I think the blush. It's just going to be enough softness to kind of you know tone it, tone it down a little. Blush. Um. 
yeah, you can see this is our first one. You see how it's kind of like opaque? It's, you can see it's drying. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is the drier side. So I'm just going to, I'm going to peel it up ever so slowly and just see what it's doing. See how it's cooking. <laughs> see how it's cooking. Okay. Now I can't pull it up. See, it's, it's, it's stuck. So you never, you never want to pull it if it's, um, the heck where did that come from if it's uh if it's dried on there don't pull it you whenever you're pulling off your carrier sheet um it should be nice and smooth so with that being said it should be um it should be moist that's a funny word huh so i'm gonna moisten it we're gonna moisten it because you never want it to tug you want it to be smooth that is super important see you see that see how easy that com is coming back now nope, that piece isn't though just want to peek oh yeah it's good it's good can you see it? can you see it right Ooh. right there see the paint Pretty cool, huh? All right, so I'm just gonna lay that back down. Lay that back down. Let it finish doing its thing. And you can really see where my paint is thick. See, oh, you can see it perfectly with the shadow. See all that rumply? So if you don't want rumply, I wouldn't go as heavy on your paint, but just know that your image might not be as great but as long as your paint is wet, like wet, wet, it should be fine. It should be fine. I get a little heavy handed sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's do our blush. Hopefully we can get this done. Get her done. Get her done. I think these two colors together are fabulous. Fabulous. If you guys are just hopping on, um, I screwed up. I ordered the wrong thing. So if in the last week, maybe 10 days, if you think you ordered this, this is the matte varnish that I love. It's, I use it as like you would Mod Podge or DIY patina for the most part, but it's a very matte finish. Well, somehow I ordered this um, decoupage varnish and glue, which I tested it out. They're very similar. This one's a little bit more gluey, but it is not as matte. It's matte, but it's not as matte as this. Like this is, this is the best mat I've ever seen. So if you ordered this and you got this, message me or email, whatever. Just let me know and um, I have more of these coming in. I don't know I don't know who I gave what to because they got mixed up. This is the last one I have. But there's more coming in the next couple of days from Decoupage Queen. <laughs> so sorry about that. I picked it up. I was like, what the heck is this? Why did they send me this stuff? Because <laughs> you ordered it, thingy. <laughs> Uh, but why? I don't. I couldn't even find the difference, because this is a glue and a varnish and all the things. I don't know. I, I don't know. This was a, just a little bit more glueier. But I use this just like we use. I don't know. I don't know. Um. What else? Yeah. That's all I got for you guys as far as information. Oh, this weekend is um the big event. How could I forget? Uh, oh my gourd! <laughs> oh my gourd! Starting, uh, 7.15 a.m., I believe, all day Saturdays, hosted by Char with Char's Art from the Heart and uh, Lisa Brown with Brown Eyes Girls Crafting, um, all day, all night type of thing. So, um, oh my gourd! <laughs> it's gonna be a good time! Oh my gourd! <laughs> I feel like we're in New Jersey! Is that how they say it? Oh my gourd! Uh, so that'll be a good time. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Hold on. Right, turn it down. So, you don't want to miss out on that. Halloween, fall, be all the all the inspiration. I do have a video that went out this morning that shows all the creatives, and there's also a post on my page. Okay, so we only got the three left. Oh, this looks pinkish. It is blush. It's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna use the cat. 
feel like if you don't use the cap, it kind of dries up in there and you waste it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good, y'all. It's going to be good. Oh, my gourd. Y'all, I don't have a project. I have no idea what to do. No idea. I don't even know what to do for craft around the clock tomorrow. I think my comment stopped. Imagine that. Or you're all just bored. Yeah, I think my comments are halted. I see Paula has been watching for like the last couple of minutes. That's all it says. There we go. Hey, Cindy. They come back alive. Y'all, please make sure you're following and your notifications are on. Not just for me, but all the people that you watch. Um, they're, they're being shut off left and right. And what's stupid is they'll show us all your favorite colors. They show us how many friends you have, right? And then, uh, you know, you wake up the next morning and there's like 20 less. Well, I don't even know if I know how to unfollow. Well, I guess, yeah. You have to actually go to somebody's page to unfollow. Very, 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 very rarely would I think someone actually unfollows somebody unless they're like really pissed off or, you know, they just, you just don't. So, you know, Facebook does it for you, but just, just check because it's frustrating. It's frustrating. Um, if it, I, I'm excited about this piece. Like I said, I want it to be like, a, um, uh -oh. um, what did somebody call it? Uh, like a, like an activity board, kind of, kind of, like not, not literally an activity board to put important stuff on, but, but pretty stuff. Like I got the rusty doorknobs. I got some hard, wrought iron hooks. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what the, the end picture is going to be. This is all I really got for right now. There's that hair. Get that out of the way. Okay, B. B for blush. <laughs> B for blush. Like I said, there could have been an easier way to do this. I'm just not sure what that would be with the different colors. I just don't know. I just don't know. Mm-mm. Oh, I shifted. Okay, it's down in the paint. It is crooked, but it's okay. Hey, Jane, thanks for sprinkling. Hey, Charlene. Um, rolling over it. Rolling over it. Now we're gonna mist it. Be mindful when you're be mindful when you're misting that you don't have like paint and lays in front of you or you know anything you're about to get wet that shouldn't. Just be mindful of that. Okay. And then you don't have to saturate it like I just did. Um, just get it wet. You're just giving it a helping hand from the back side of the carrier paper. I would say this carrier paper is um, uh, kind of like kind of like parchment paper ish. There's an air bubble. Well, that's weird. Never had an air bubble. We don't want an air bubble. Let's weigh that down. If we got an air bubble, then that means it's not sitting in the wet paint, right? Right? Yep, it sure does. Get down, get down. Get down, little paint. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's gonna be shabby chic rustic. I think so, Cindy. I think so. Okay. Blush, 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 blush. Let's get moving so I can. Now, this isn't a process you want to rush as far as hurrying up and peeling it off. I can tell you, I have done it. You can totally do all of this and then you could walk away and not come back till it till, to come back to it till tomorrow. <laughs> and um, everything's dry as dry can be. It's totally fine if your paper dries totally on your surface because you have to wet it anyways to get it off. So if you feel better, you probably get the best results that way. Um, letting it dry thoroughly and giving it all that time to marinate and do its thing. Um, so don't be afraid to do that. Um, you're just going to have to moisten it to um, peel it off. And remember when you're doing the peeling process, it, you should never tug. If you're tugging, then it's not moist enough. Go back, moisten it up, give it a second, and then try again. 
Try again. Almost there. If you sprayed the board and then painted it, would you still need two coats of paint? If you sprayed the board and then painted it, sprayed it with, I, I don't think, I don't understand what you mean. You sprayed the board and then painted it. I don't know what you mean. I'm not catching what you're throwing, Danny. Uh. I'm not ca catching what you're throwing. I don't get it. Where do you get the paper? Debbie, we have this paper available on our website. If you type in hashtag website, look at my shirt. <laughs> hashtag website. That will uh, send our website link to your messenger. This is an IOD paint inlay. We have several. Well, here's the back side of it. Um, there's the blue and white. Well, I can't really take it out at this moment, but there's all kinds. There's, there's a Christmas one. The Christmas one is really cool. Um, there's the blue and white one, but it really is blue, blue, blue. There's, there's, there's seven or eight different kinds. Yeah, there's a Christmas one, um, a flower, <laughs> flower one, um, the blue and white one. There's one with little seams. There's a couple of twelve. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm spraying. <laughs> Dang it. Um, a couple of twelve ones. You'll have to check it out. You'll find it under IOD paint inlays on our website. Can't screw up the last minute now. Trace, <laughs> pay attention. Oh, making a mess. This should come out of my shirt anyways. If not, then it's okay. It's not often I get paint on myself. Oh my god, it's, it's all over my pants. It's all down my leg. <laughs> <sighs> Looks like I had a good time today. Yeah. Go girl. Get that paint on here. How is your paint drying under the carrier paper? It's magical, I guess. It's magical. It's drying. It is. It uh I mean it's not real thick paper. But yeah, it, it, it dries. You can dry it with a heat tool, but it, it's definitely one of those things you don't wanna, you wanna, you don't wanna rush. Check on it, see how it looks. It's not carrying well. Don't be afraid to um, mist a little more water on it and you know dab it with your paper towel or roll over it with your brayer if you have one. Um, don't be afraid to do that. Um, I mean, you made it that far. I mean, sometimes it's hard to tell. If you see one spot and you're not so sure, try another little spot and see what it's looking like. Because, I mean, it takes time. You're literally, because this is real paint, um, you've activated the paint, so it takes time. I just, I forgot to pick up my mist marks. Um, you know, it takes time for it to activate and actually inlay into your your wet paint into your wet paint okay it's so gonna be good all right can you guys see all right, so i got that yeah i think i probably use too much paint i think i do i think i do but just make sure your paint's wet and you should be totally fine you should be totally fine Totally fine. Last one. This one's bigger than everybody else. And you can see it's not perfect, which is fine. It's fine. Okay, go over it. And once it's down, just leave it. Just go with it. And, and when you do get these, like, they are made. The way they're put in the books, because you get eight sheets... The way they're put in the books, um, there's a pattern. Like if you wanted to do an entire wall, it's set up so each. So be mindful of that. If you're going to use them as you know one giant pattern, um, keep them in that order because they come in that order. Does that make any sense? What I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, they do come that way. And then there's some that um, there's a there's I don't know what the name of it is. 
It's got some turtle doves on it or something. And then there's another one with some little, it's like a little French countryside. I want to do that one on that bed tray that I got. I do, I do. Okay. That is that. So far, I love it. So far, I love it. Um, so far. Worst case scenario, it comes out like crap. You just sand it and do something else, right? <laughs> right? Now, for those of you that are new, you can use this, um, you can use these papers up to maybe four times. Two times for sure, three maybe, uh, four. It just depends, like, as you see. However, however much paint comes off on this first time is going to affect how much paint goes down the second time and so on. And you'll see, too, that I'm going to pick up each color. Each color of my strips is going to have this color in it. So when you do your next project, be mindful that those, um, um, those ones, those colors will carry over to your next project as well because this is actual paint. So if I were to get this wet and go like this, I would smear the paint. This is actually real paint inlaid on this carrier sheet and it has the squares on it to help you line it up. So I have one there here that's used. This one's already been used and you can't even tell. It's the brand you get a lot here most of the steps. Um yes, Lulu. Yeah, so this one's already been used. It's just not as vibrant as the other. This paper is called Rose Chintz. It's IOD paint inlay rose chintz so if you type in hashtag website when you go to the menu area it depends if you're on a phone or whatever <clears throat> but iod has its own area or own section so does wise owl um but these will be under iod paint inlays and there's a christmas one too that's it's really good um what i have is what we have so once we sell out of those that's i can't get anymore um but they did a really nice job um, with that one uh, as far as you get a lot of meat in there I can't see anybody using an entire one in uh, one season because there's, there's a lot of images in there a lot of sayings a lot of images all right so now I want to peel this up before I gotta go but you can see it's still wet in some spots this is pretty dry this is pretty dry. Let me hit it with a heat tool just a little bit. I don't need my up end marker anymore. Um, I was amazed how clean your crap. Oh, thank you, Jeanette. Well, look at me today. Mess. I got this. I got this. I got it all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's fun. Am I gonna crackle it? You could crackle it. Now, okay, so here's the most important thing. If you don't take anything away from what I showed you today, the most important part is when you are done and you peeled up all your papers and it looks amazing and you're like, oh my God, I love it. Can't wait to do it again. Um, you have to, number one, seal it with a spray sealer um, or take like uh, a polycrylic and half water, half polycrylic, shake it in a, a bottle or spray bottle or whatever and spray it, um, and let it dry by itself because it's very important if you, even if it's dry, if you were to take any water-based type sealer and wipe it on, What's gonna happen is, um, what if you don't get eight pages? Do you sell? No, Nancy, I wish they did. I wish they sold a variety pack, and I wish they sold a smaller pack, like they do the smaller transfers. I wish, I wish. Um, if you take, you know, after this dries, and I take my Mod Podge, and I, with my brush, what's gonna happen is, is I'm going to reactivate the paint because it's water activated, and it's gonna smear, and then you're gonna be mad. So, if you can take it outside and spray it with a spray sealer, do that. Um, if you don't have that, you can take your 
polycrylic in half water, spray it, just let it dry, and then after that you can do whatever you want. You're good to go. You're good to go after that. All right, I don't want to rush this bottom part, but I feel pretty confident with our greens at least. So let's let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, where's my tails? Let's see what we got. Um, yeah, I wish. I wish. Because eight pages of this is a lot. I mean, it is. It is. Okay, so I don't want to saturate this, but I don't, also don't want any pulling. Like, this is dry. Like, it's not letting me... Can't pull it off. You don't want that. You want it to be moist. <laughs> want it to be moist. And I'm just doing this to sprinkle the moisture around. Let's see if I can get it going. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Isn't that a song? Y'all ready for this? Uh, uh. Uh, your first time watching and I just dance like that, Sharon. I apologize. <laughs> I don't have any dance moves. This is actually a paint inlay. It's new, it's innovative, it's patent pending. Um, it's just some super cool stuff. It's a lot of, to explain, so you might have to watch the replay, but I do have other videos where we did it. Okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Here we go. Remember, no tugging. Smooth. Smooth. A little bit of tugging. How's it coming out? Uh-huh. I got it tucked in there, in that hole. In the slat, I should say. How cool. <laughs> I got a piece of hair in my mouth. How cool is that? Uh huh. That white part is just still wet paint, wet chalk paint. I think. That's tugging. Look at that. Now, take my carrier sheet, because it's still, this is still good. You're just gonna lay this out to dry. I can't believe there's, there's really no color paint on it. There's no um, sea salt. Okay, so lay that out to dry so we can use it again. Look, so here's one that's brand, here's a brand new piece, and here's the one we just used. So you can see it's not as vibrant, but can still be used again. Cuckoo crazy bananas, huh? Who knew? Who knew? All right, let's do this one. Let's do this one. That might have peeled my paint up actually, but you know what? It looks pretty stinking cool. I gotta, I gotta take a better look at that. I think it peeled my paint up. I think it did. Maybe because I put the poly or the, um, I put the uh, Wise Owl one hour enamel down maybe? I don't know, because I've never done that before, before doing all this. That could be, I don't know. So if you get any tugging at all, get it, get it, make it more moist. No tugging. Hugging, not tugging. want to come up right there. What's it doing? I don't know what's happening. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> it, do it does actually look really cool. It, looks, it actually made crackle. I'll show you in a sec. Let's get this while it's moist. so cool it doesn't get old like it just it doesn't i love it on this color yeah it's peeling up the paint that's exactly what it's doing it's got to be the one hour enamel but i think that's going to be a happy accident Ooh, i got some tugging oh it's because it's it's folded under here i should have trimmed this paper more but i didn't Hold on. 
It's caught on the side of this <laughs> lip. <laughs> there we go. No tugging. Smooth. Smooth operator. Oh man. This is delicious! You can see a tiny bit of the blue on there, but not a lot. Sea salt, not blue. Sea salt! So neato. Alright, let's do this one. This one's still kind of wet. Let's do this pink. Well, nah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'll be on tomorrow, if anybody cares. Tomorrow at 4.45 p.m. Eastern for Craft Around the Clock. I have no idea what I'm going to make. Well, I kind of do. i got a couple things I want to do. Cup. Where the heck is it? Oh, a right. couple things I want to do. Which one do you do? You don't know. I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. Okay. This is not hard, right? I mean, can you guys agree that it's not hard? It's just a process. It's just you got to do bap, bap. Bap, bap, bap. Bap, bap. And bam. <laughs> so, it, it, I, I mean, I don't think it's hard. But remember, in the end, do not put any type of brush sealer. Uh, oh, you, you didn't get a notification? Are you part of the Telegram? If you type in hashtag Telegram, you can sign up for that for free if you'd like. Um, if you don't have the app, it'll ask you to install it. It's free. It's fine. It's safe. Um, and it's pretty easy to install. Ooh, that one didn't transfer too good, but that's okay. I'm going to go with it. Um, just remember, don't brush. Don't brush it on. Spray sealer, and then you can do whatever you want. Then you can do whatever you want after that. Okay. Um, this one is... I think we're okay. I'm going to do this one. For whatever reason, this one is more wet. Than this one so let's let's see what the pink's all about see if i can at least get one of each color off and then i gotta go uh use telegram but nothing today uh oh, lisa are you part of scrappy's crafty or it's not scrappy scrappy if you touch my nose <laughs> um it should bring you the link to because mine's a channel i don't know what that means but it's a channel um now be mindful too because if i get these wet i'm going to reactivate my stuff over here um, it'll bring you right to my, if you already have it, if you click my link, it'll bring you right to my group. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> oh my God, the pink's so good, you guys. Yo, I'm a mess. <laughs> That's the best mess ever. Oh yeah. I feel like I should have like some sexy song. <laughs> some, uh. Some good loving songs as I peel this off because my goodness, that is so, so good. So good. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that you can definitely see the paint on. Can, I think you can see it better from this side. Do you see the paint in it? Yeah, you do. So chances are the paint that dries on here is going to carry on to the second time you use it. So I'm just putting these out like this to dry. You can kind of see the tints of color now. Very faint, but you can see them. Um, all right, let's do a cream. Not cream. Ugh. It's wet. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, thank you, Kim. Thank you, Fran. Thank you, Debbie. Um, these are still kind of wet. This one's pretty dry. Let's go with this one. I feel like I rushed, I feel like I rushed these because, oh, it's all right. So I'm thinking it'll hang and I can hang, I can put like these wrought iron, this one's kind of big, but um, like hooks or I don't know how I would get a doorknob on there, but I got all these rusty doorknobs. Just be a, a place to hang, I don't know, like pretty, thank you, Tina, 
Thank you, Shonda. Make her a reel or TikTok. Just paint and lay removals and watch it over and over. I had one and it, it did really good. It did actually really good, Shonda. It's funny. But yeah, I can make a sexy one. <laughs> um, just to hang, I don't know, like sashes on or pretty little, not so much tassels, but just to hang pretty stuff on. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see when this gets all dry and see what we're working with. See what we're working with. Oh, signs wet paint. It just doesn't get old. Let's see. That little camera. And I'll give you a sneak peek. Oh, it's so good. Oh, thank you so much for the stars. I was like, what the heck is that on my screen? Thank you so much. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Looks really nice on the light too, huh? I love this. Now I want sheets these colors. <laughs> I want sheets like these. I want sheets like these colors. Oh, I'm running out of room to... I need a clothesline in here for my inlays to dry. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, like a quilt. Yeah, it does kind of look like a quilt. So these are actually paint inlays. We're actually inlaying real paint into paint. Um, it's patent pending. It's new. It's innovative. There's more and more coming out. We have a Christmas. They're uh, IOD. If you type in hashtag website, it'll take you or it'll message you scrappiesrustics.com. Look under uh, IOD paint inlays um, and you'll see the different books that we have. Um, I want to say there's seven or eight of them. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm not going to do any more because I feel like they still need to marinate. And maybe I should wait and show you, you know, when they dry, like dry overnight, how, you know, how they still come off. Um, I don't have any room. So it looks like oh, this is Rose Chintz. That's the name of this one, Rose Chintz. There is one that has four separate images and then there's like the other four pages are make a bigger image. Um, there's this blue and white, which I, I can't believe we haven't used that yet. Y'all, I feel like that we should put that on a pumpkin. I feel like we should cut off, we should cut out individual pieces and put them on one of those paper mache pumpkins. I think that would be cool because look how vibrant this blue is. I mean, it's pretty wicked. It's like, um, almost like neon blue um yeah there's a lot of there's a several t like twalls there's some doves um there's all different kinds of different ones there's some that are one giant thing that you make out of all eight of them i don't have a wall big enough to do that and i had done this a while back and then i was coming across the videos that i had done in the past of this this isn't the same paper so this, you saw the, I did, I did a, um, a cookbook stand, like a phone, iPad stand. I did a wood box and then I also did a rolling pin. Um, and it was this JRV black and white floral paper. However, we're sold out of the flower paper, but a while back they had a limited edition paper that's just like it, but I think better because it has three big flowers in it instead of just the one sunflower. Use the blue tomorrow for craft around the clock. Use the blue tomorrow. What do you mean the blue? The blue, um, I don't know what you mean. But check this one. I forgot I had did this one, but I don't know what to put it on. So here's the paper. This is 20 by 30. This is decoupage paper. This can be found under, um, at scrappiesrustics.com under Recycled and JRV paper, but so so you see here That's I don't want to dip in the paint. That's the flower that I did on all of those videos and This paper is different because look at the size of that giant lily right there and look at this thing I mean, I started it and I forgot all about it when we first got them and I just came across it and I was like Oh, man, but I don't know what to put it on I don't know what to put it on but that's Tim Holtz oxide patina that I put on with a foam applicator but look at that lily y'all 
it's just so beautiful. And then all that little stuff at the bottom. But what happens is, is the way the oxide works, is see how you see the black and the white? Well, I didn't know this, we took a chance. I think I did it on Craft Around the Clock, like last year, maybe the beginning of this year. But what happens is, is when you put the oxide on, it kind of makes the black part um, look cloudy. So I was like, well, that doesn't look good. So I just wiped it with a paper towel. So what happens is when you use the oxide, um, it soaks into the white paper, which has no ink on it, and it wipes off of the ink part. Does that make sense? So anywhere that there's black, it'll wipe right off. Anywhere that there's white, it'll soak in. So, but you do have to wipe it, otherwise it looks cloudy. Um, so I feel like this one would really scream. Like, look at all the white parts in that one. Um, even this would work. It would take a little more effort to do all those little, I mean, you can do it all in a round, but any of these would work. So I gotta find something to put this on because it's just, it's just, I don't know. It's just so cool. It's so different. It's so different. All right, but here's what we got so far. Oh, tomorrow's craft around the clock. So I can't, I don't know. I may get squirrely and take this off tonight. If not, I'll do it with you guys. Um, I love it. You can see where the one hour enamel, especially right here in the pink, Whoa. <laughs> right here, actually everywhere you can see, but I kind of like that crackly look because it peeled the paint off with it. Well, it's paper. Remember there's paper on these. Some of these two still have paper on them. Uh, I think it came out really stinking cool. I think it screams shabby chic. It's still wet. It's still wet though too. Hey Beverly, how are you my friend? So that's what we have. That's our piece. I hope you guys learned something. If you're going to use paint inlays, um, the Christmas one is really cool. So if you already have it, I hope you're not afraid to use it now. Give it a try. Um, you know I'm always here to help you if you have any questions or you get stuck or you just get nervous at the end. Trust the process. Just trust the process. No, it's not hard. No, I just got to do bap, 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 and then the big reveal. And then most importantly, after it dries, spray seal it with something, and then you can do whatever you want to it. Whatever you want. Um, just know that if it gets wet, it's going to reactivate the paint. And uh, I mean, that might be a good thing because I've seen the sisters where they had a dresser that they wanted it to look nice. They wanted, you know, they wanted perfection. And there was a few spots where the flat, you know, where the papers came together where it wasn't meeting up. So what they did was they actually took a brush and wet it and activated that paint to make, to make the stem whole. So they just used the paint that was in there like a watercolor and just fixed everywhere it needed to be fixed. So, you know, it could, if you need to do that, you can do that as well. So. Looks like I had a good time today. <laughs> I don't know how it got way down here. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but um, I'll be on tomorrow. I gotta log on to work now, you guys. Um, I'll be on tomorrow. It's 4, 4.45 p.m. Eastern. I can hardly wait. I'm excited. I hope you guys have an amazing night, and um, thanks for being here. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.